Hi, this is Father Robert Wagner, priest of the Diocese of Arlington and secretary to Bishop Michael Burbage. This Sunday is Ascension Sunday, even though you wouldn't know it from the gospel. St. Matthew ends the gospel instead with the words that Jesus says before he ascends into heaven. And those words are, I will remain with you always, even to the end of the age. How can he remain with us after his ascension? While the ascension is a separation, it's nothing that cannot be overcome by the love of God. Jesus remains with us always. We find him in the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, where he remains with us body, blood, soul, and divinity. We find him in the word of God, and we find him in our prayer, when we can speak to him any time we wish. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not remain in this world because he was not made for this world, which is passing. He ascended into heaven where sin and death exist no more. We ourselves were also not made for this world. And he prays, interceding for us at the right hand of the Father, that we may join him again. Jesus says to us in the Gospel of Matthew, where your heart is, there will your treasure be. Jesus Christ in heaven is our treasure. So let us place our heart in him. This leads us to our weekly challenge. Let us encounter Jesus Christ every day in the Eucharist. If we are able to go to Mass each day this week, let us do so. If we are not able to go to Mass but can still visit the church or the Adoration Chapel to visit Him in the Eucharist, let us do that as well, that we may spend time with Him. If we are not able to do that, let us spend a spiritual communion with Jesus Christ, asking Him that we may draw closer to Him in His love and that we may join Him in heaven for all of eternity. May Christ's ascension into heaven prepare the way for us. We're not made for this world, we're made for Him. May is the month when we honor our Blessed Mother. Make Our Lady proud and subscribe here to Two Minutes to Virtue.